Good morning, folks. We've got several space weather items to hit today. Solar flaring continues. We'll look at solar wind and the sunspot situation. We also have two good articles, one on space weather and human health, and the other on mantle induction. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours continue to produce impulsive flaring events at the active regions. You can also see the coronal hole turning through center disk just south of the equator, and its solar wind is expected to arrive at Earth early this coming week. Right now, the solar wind is calming from the minor intensification and phi angle flip. Geomagnetic storm activity from the previous day has dwindled as the stream renormalizes. The solar flaring continued to produce mid and even high range M class flares, but again, without longer duration, they're not ejecting much plasma as CMEs, departing groups showing activity after having been quiet for a few days. Here are the sunspot groups we're currently watching. That departing group on the right is about to turn onto the far side. The largest umbra on the south is largely by itself, which makes flaring less likely despite its grand size. But the big expansive group in coming on the north retains the largest potential with the highest complexity amidst its several umbral cores. Let's go next to a good paper on space weather and stroke. We've seen the correlation between the sun and stroke events several times in the journals before, but it's been a couple years since we've seen it revisited. Good one here, showing the importance of these data analyses. Lastly, folks, another example of something we've seen before, but it's always good to be reminded of the induction potential of solar storms. It's not just an induction into the auroral oval, the atmosphere and the crust, but this reaches down into the mantle as well. This brings back the importance of the effect of the super flare or micronova scenario where that current can disrupt the crust mantle boundary at the low velocity zone and can greatly impact the iron, oxygen, water, and other magnetically susceptible compounds in the mantle for heaving, rapid motion, volcanoes, and earthquakes. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.